Jay Slater's mother has slammed the TV sleuth Mark Williams Thomas for seeking publicity over her son's death. The TV detective Mark Williams Thomas has claimed to know the real reason the tragic teenager left the Airbnb hours before his death. Now it was only in the last 24 hours that I released a video about this situation and Mark Williams Thomas is claiming that he knows a lot more than what he's letting on. You see the thing is he said that he's waiting for the right time to release this information and he's waiting for Debbie Duncan to give him the go ahead. Now in his last post he made out as if he was in a great relationship with Debbie Duncan but that doesn't seem to be the case. Now Debbie Duncan told the Mail Online that she wants Mark Williams Thomas to reveal what he knows after claiming that he knows the real reason why Jay Slater left that Airbnb in the first place. Now he stated in his last post that he doesn't want to hurt Debbie Duncan and her family anymore after what they've already been through. He said that he's trying to be sensitive over the matter and that's why he hasn't released the information yet. Now the problem with this situation is that Jay Slater's mother states that the ruthless trolling of her online has started again after the TV detective's latest intervention. Speaking exclusively to the Mail Online, school finance officer Debbie Duncan, 55 years old, said, If he knows something, I wish he would just say it. Otherwise, people will think it's just publicity and it's not doing me any good. She said there's a lot of people saying what's he got, what's he found, so that's why I'm saying if he has anything, then he should. There is only one person who really knows what happened and he's not here to tell us what happened. That's why everything is just speculation, says Debbie Duncan. She continues, I still think speaking to his friends at the time, Jay just wanted to carry on partying, but he left. But like I say, there's only one person who really knows. Although I would like to speak to the guy who was at the Airbnb. Now the guy at the Airbnb, guys, she's talking about Ayub Kasim. Now, Ayub Kasim has lied so many times and his story has been inconsistent about what Jay was doing there. So I can totally understand why Debbie Duncan wants to speak to him. And to be fair guys, Ayub Kasim should have been questioned properly by the civil guard in Spain and he should have also been questioned by authorities when he arrived in England, but he wasn't. Now when Debbie Duncan was asked how she was coping, she said, I'm not, it's all so raw still. She said, I'm still not back at work and I'm struggling. I'm having counseling still. Now in Mark Williams Thomas's latest post, he said that there's a huge amount of misinformation. When I went out there, I took a lot of videos. Some of the information which came to me in the early days wasn't accurate, wasn't correct, and I needed to validate it. Now the question is guys, why wasn't the information that came to him accurate and why wasn't it correct? Why were so many people lying to him from the beginning? Is it because they've all got something to hide? Is it because they were involved in Jay's death? What's going on here, guys? Mark Williams Thomas went on to say that he had a long conversation with Jay's mother, Debbie Duncan, and they get on very well. Unfortunately, this seems to contradict with Debbie's latest statement to the Mail Online. Now, this is one of the biggest problems in the Jay Slater case. Everybody that speaks seems to contradict each other. So I'm now back on social media, I took a small break and one of the questions that I got asked lots and lots through direct messaging, because my direct messages are open, was an update in relation to Jay Slater. Well, I'm glad that you had a few months break, Mark, but you see now is time that you start talking. In that break that you had, everybody has been waiting for an update from you. I went out, did the investigation, worked very closely with the family and as a result of that got a lot of information, but also a lot of information from potential witnesses, people involved, people who knew Jay, and also from the authorities in a roundabout way. They weren't directly talking to me, but I was in contact with people who were in contact with the authorities. And one of the things that's very clear is, of course, there's a huge amount of misinformation. I've been back and looked through some of the videos that I took. So when I went out there, I took a lot of videos in relation to my investigation, but also thought processes of whilst that investigation is going on. And one of the interesting aspects of it is, as is always the case for every investigation, is you find information out uh, and you look at that, and then a couple of days later, that information changes or it's evidenced in some way. And it's quite interesting. Some of the information that came to me in the very early days wasn't accurate, wasn't correct, and I needed to validate. And Mark, if people are telling you information that wasn't accurate and it wasn't correct, then why are they lying to you? Surely you should be asking the question, 
Why are all these people lying to you? Why are they trying to push their own narrative? I was in a unique position because I, of course, I had access to the family, I had access to mobile phone records, I had access to friends. And so basically, you've more or less had access to anything that you've really needed within the case, and yet you still haven't told us anything yet. We still don't know why Jay Slater left with two knives, which is what you stated in an earlier statement. We still don't know why Jay Slater left the Airbnb scared. And it's not just us, Jay Slater's family still don't know either. And they're waiting for answers from you as well. So what are you waiting for, Mark? Guys, it feels like we've been waiting for years for this man to give us some answers and he still hasn't done it. In fact, all of the friends communicated with me. There wasn't a single friend who stepped away and didn't want to communicate. And they all had their own story to tell and obviously they all had concerns, some of them, because of what they were up to and their involvement. Again, like I stated in the last video, what were they up to and what were they involved in? Surely you should be asking these questions or you should be releasing this information. You see, if Jay Slater was caught up in something, then how will we ever know if you don't tell us? Sounds to me that you spoke to a load of people and they all seemed to lie to you and you believed it in the beginning and now you're trying to backtrack on all your investigations so far. People are not interested in these publicity stunts, they just want the truth. So if you want some credit, give out the truth. But they all participated, they all engaged with me. Mark, you need to wake up. They didn't just engage with you, they've been engaging with the whole world. They've all been on live streams all over the internet and they've all been contradicting each other and they've all been lying. Guys, is it possible that all this engagement that he's had with all the people involved in the case is a load of rubbish? Has he been fed a load of rubbish? And is that why he seems so confused? Even to the point of the two males who went back with Jay to their apartment, you know, one of them was in real contact with me. I was talking to him, he's providing me a lot of information. Yeah. Guys, he's talking about Ayub Kasim again, and he's saying how Ayub Kasim gave him a lot of information. You see, the problem is, this Mark Williams Thomas seems really naive, and I think that Ayub Kasim has probably been tricking him all along. As we all know, Ayub Kasim has been giving us all a load of information because he's all the time on live streams. Now, nothing that man says is true. He lies through his teeth, but Mark seems to believe everything that Ayub Kasim has been telling him. This guy vowed to get the family answers within 72 hours. I feel like even if we gave him 72 years, he still wouldn't give us any answers. The only person I didn't get to speak to was the other male that was with him. But everybody else that I needed to speak to, I did speak to. So the only person that you haven't spoken to still was one of the last people to be with Jay Slater. But you don't seem to find that a big deal. Now, how could you ever really know what happened to Jay Slater unless you speak to one of the last people that was ever with him? Maybe it would have been a good idea if you got in contact with Rocky in that three months break that you had. Then you could have cross-referenced that information with what Ayub Kasim told you. And then you could have found out if they were telling you the truth or not. Mark, are you a detective or are you a TV presenter, mate? So, where's this going? Well, I've spoken in the last few days to Debbie. She had a long conversation with me, very pleasant. We got on very well. There's no issue with that at all. And in Oh, Mark, do you really get on with Debbie that well? Or are you just making out as if you're really close to her? I mean, if you really was that close to Debbie Duncan, then why has she been talking about you like this to the Daily Mail? In fact, she seems really annoyed with you because you're not letting out this information. You see, you seem to know something about her son and you're not telling her. Debbie Duncan told the Mail Online that what Mark Williams Thomas has said has knocked her back a few million steps. I wish he would just say what he knows or just stay out of it. We last spoke a few weeks ago briefly because I wanted to clear some things up. She said there was nothing untoward about the conversation. She just wanted to refresh her brain because she couldn't remember much from the first couple of weeks. She said, as you could see what I was like, I had just lost the plot. My son was missing and I wanted to find him. Debbie added, there was nothing really new, I just wanted to go over some things and Mark told me that if I remembered anything to give him a call and that was it and now it's all over the news again and it's really knocked me. I thought for a second he might have something but now I'm thinking it might just be a PR stunt. Now all it's done is got all the bloody TikTokers back and they have never really stopped which is even sadder. In fact, she really struggled during this period of time and rightly so, you know she's a mother who's lost a child and not just that. Mark, she didn't just struggle during that time. She's struggling now. In fact, she has stated that she didn't sleep last night 
and that she's going through enough as it is. She said that you've put this on your socials and you haven't backed it up. She said that if you know anything, then you should just say it. You're actually contributing to her suffering by not letting it out. Whatever you know, just tell us what it is. In fact, Mark, I believe that if you carry on holding this information on for too long, if you do not let this information out soon, then you're going to lose all credibility out there. It was in the eye of the media storm. This was, just, this was an inquiry uh, uh, case that hit the headlines, not just in the UK, but actually worldwide. People became fascinated and it took on a life of its own. And as a result of that, lots of conspiracy theories. Let's be honest, you've probably contributed to the conspiracy theories the most by stating that Jay Slater was scared and that's why he left that Airbnb. You also stated that Jay Slater left with two knives. But then you just went cold, you stopped talking about the situation. You see, because of that, so many people were speculating about why Jay must have left scared. Why would Jay have left with two knives? So while you've been enjoying your three month break, the rest of us have been trying to figure out why Jay left scared and why Jay was carrying the two knives. Not just that, but you also stated that he may have taken a Rolex watch. Now all of us have been trying to figure out if that is true or not. Mark, you need to start clearing some of this stuff up. I'm starting to think that you're not the brightest bulb in the box because you're causing so much trouble and I don't even think you realize what you're doing here. It's either that or it really is just a publicity stunt, like what Debbie Duncan said. Lots of people with their own views in terms of what happened, but I had the uniqueness because I was literally in the heart of it, able to establish information from different parties, collect that information and then look to see what evidential value it had. I was very clear from day one that this looked like a tragic accident. Looked like a tragic accident, Mark. But it wasn't a tragic accident. If it was a tragic accident, there wouldn't be so many red flags within the case. But of course I needed to investigate it and I remained open-minded throughout the whole of that investigation and was very clear that actually whilst there were considerable issues that existed and I haven't revealed the details of all those issues and exactly you know kind of why, why Jay left in the manner he did, why he didn't want to return, you know those things I've kept to myself at this present moment in time and maybe when the time is right I will reveal those. I've got to be very careful. What I don't want to do is upset the family any more trauma than they've already had. Well, it looks like you've already done that because Debbie Duncan is not happy with you. And that's why she's let out a statement through the Daily Mail. You really have got your head in the sand, haven't you, Mark? And so it would be something that I would work very closely with Debbie and the family to reveal that information. Uh, and maybe the time will be right soon to be able to do that, but not right now. He says not right now. Well, why not? Why don't you tell us right now? What are you actually waiting for? Jay Slater's family are even waiting for you to tell them, but yet you're not telling anybody anything. It's been months now since Jay Slater's body was found at the bottom of a ravine. So what is the problem, Mark? What is the issue for you to let out this information? End of the day, you're the one who's losing credibility by holding on to this information because it looks like you don't actually have any information and you're just making this all up. I really don't know, guys, how long this man wants to wait until he gives us any updates. I mean, Jay Slater's funeral was months ago. It just doesn't make sense why he's taking so long. By him saying that he knows something and not saying it, all he's doing is causing agony to the family. It wasn't so long ago since Dan O'Keefe let out a video as well, stating that Jay Slater was tortured and his eyes were taken out and that he had blisters on his arm. But yet he hasn't given us any updates either. In fact, in his latest post, he just completely ignored the subject. All these people seem to be making all these claims, but they don't have any information to back it up. Maybe Mark should start hanging around with Dan O'Keefe because they'd probably get on really well. I hope you respect me in relation to that. I'll give you some more updates, not just in relation to the Jay Slater case, uh, when that's ready. But when that's ready? I mean, what are you going to do? Are you going to have another few months break before you give us another update? Come on, Mark. But also some of the other cases I'm dealing with, I've got a fast... So he's left us waiting for more information and he's already talking about the other cases that he's dealing with. I don't even want to imagine how much he's keeping people waiting on those other cases. Let's hope that he does release this information soon if he really does have any more information.